Hello friends. So today's session, I'm going to explain you uh, Linux troubleshooting. Okay. So you can see on my screen, uh, this is my system. This is my server and this server is as of now, it's a bracket mode. Okay. So when uh, system is going in a bracket mode, so there are multiple reasons. There are multiple reasons then, uh, you know, that due to that so system is server is going in a bracket mode. So common issue is that uh, like uh, kernel, if uh, kernel is not installed properly and the kernel is corrupted, something in uh, with uh, issue with kernel, then your system is going in a bracket mode. Okay, so in uh, in my case also, you can see this system is a bracket mode. Uh, there was a problem in the kernel. I uh, reinstalled that kernel. After that also, the system is going in a bracket mode. So how to solve then this issue? Okay, so let me show you how to solve. After reinstalling the uh, reinstalling the kernel also, your system is not coming up. It's a going to the bracket mode. So then how to fix that one? So let me show you. So in the next step, what you have to do, you have to boot the system with in a disk mode. So let me go to the, my vCenter. This is my vCenter. And uh, you have to select your VM. Once you select the VM, then you can go to the action. And here, edit setting. In edit setting, you have to attach the ISO, CD, DVD. So you can click here and CD, DVD, and you select your ISO and click on the connect here. Okay, first, you, first step, you have to do this one. You have to attach the ISO. Once you attach the ISO, uh, you, like uh, then what you have to do, you have to go to the VM option. And in a VM option, you have to click on the boot options. Once you click on the boot options, uh, here, one option is that force BIOS setup. So you can, you have to check this uh, box. Once you check, then you can save and boot, uh, reboot the system, okay? So let me reboot now. So once you reboot, system will go in a BIOS mode. So let me, I booted the system. This is my server. Okay, now you can see system is a booted, but in a, in a BIOS mode. So here, what you have to do, you have to change the boot sequence. So go, go to the boot option. Here, this is the boot option. Here, as of now, you can see it's a first is a hard drive. So you have what you have. What you have to do, you have to change the boot sequence. So shift and plus. Now you can see boot sequence change. Now first is a CD ROM. Once you change the boot sequence, then you can exit, save and exit. So click enter here. And now we have to wait for the boot the system with the rescue mode like CD. Now you can see my system is booted here with the CD. So now here you have to select the troubleshooting. Once you click on the uh, hit enter the troubleshooting, here what you have to do, you have to select the rescue. Second option, you can say rescue and send like uh, whatever the your operating system, that name will be so. Okay, then you have to hit enter. Once you hit enter, you have to wait for some time. System will boot here and uh, then I will show you how to do next step. Wait for some time here. Okay, so my system is booting, you can see. I, I actually, basically, I installed the, reinstalled the kernel also, that, that issue is not fixed. So let me show you what is the problem. I, I found that issue, what is the problem? Because uh, I did some mistake, so now I got it. Okay, so here you can see. So here, like four option is showing. So let me select the first option. You have to select the first option, continue. So Press one here and hit enter. Okay. Okay. Now you have to hit enter again here. Okay. Once you hit enter, now you can you have to make it uh, become a root, right? So what you, what command you have to run? You can see it's showing here the command ch root slash mnt slash cc image. This command you have to root if you want to become a root. Ch root slash mnt slash sys image okay once you run now i'm a root become a root so here what you have to do now so my kernel uh, in the case like suppose if you have a problem with the kernel so then you can uh, grab the kernel like rpm hyphen qa pipe grape hyphen i 
kernel. Once you grip, you will get the kernel package. So what you have to do, you have to remove that, uh, which one is booting system that can, with the, that system. You have to remove that kernel and you have to reinstall the kernel. Okay, fine. So in uh, I already done that activity, but still my system is going in a bracket mode. So what you have to do? What I have to do? So next step, you have to check one more file. Okay. If suppose you creating some file and uh, and after that you updating the uh, graph uh, make config and if something is that uh, file uh, that in, inside that file entry is something different then that is the reason your system is going in a bracket mode. So which is the file now? Okay, so let me show you that which one which file I'm talking about. So what you have to do here you have to cat slash etc slash default and then grub. Okay, this this file I'm talking about. So in this file, you can see if it's showing a grub command line. You can see grub command line. There is a one entry is there. So here basically entry is that your VG and LV, like file system. VG and LV file system entry is here. So now you can see it's a showing LV, LVM, LVM, LV equal to CL slash root and Again, it's a swing LV equal to VG underscore 04 and LV underscore swap. You can see here. So what happened? Actually, now let me show you uh, here VGS first and LVS. So now you can see my VGS is a only one VG that is a CL. Okay. So in this line also, you can see once you see here like LV LV equal to it's a, like CL equal to uh, like that file it is showing right CL slash root you can see that so what happened it's a uh, like uh, that like file system was a different okay well, I recreated and I given a different name but here name is a different I will show you what name I'm talking about so as of now you can see one VG that VG name is a CL and the two uh, LV that one LV name is root and second LV name is a swap. Okay. So now let me edit this file and then I will explain you which one I'm talking about. Okay. Let me now go to here. So here you can see this one I was talking about. So CL this is my VG. Okay. Its name is correct here and root. That LV name is root. That's also correct. Now let me go to the next. Now here you can see VG underscore zero four. This is not. I don't have any VG name like right VG underscore zero four. I have only one VG that is a CL, and I have LV LV that is a swap, not LV underscore swap. Okay, so something different here, right? So what I have to do, I have to edit. Insert. Let me edit. Okay, now let me save. Let me clear the screen. Now again, let me cat this file. Okay, now VGS, LVS. Now you can see. Now one VG, CL, CL, correct. Two LV, root and swap, root and swap. Okay, so I corrected that file now. After the correction, what you have to do, you have to run grub uh, then mk config so grub2 why i'm running because this is a sent to a 7 so in a 7 is a grub2 is working right so that's why grub2 hyphen make config hyphen o slash boot slash again grub2 slash grub dot cfg so I am going to update the grub file here. After the uh, modifying, I'm going to update the grub file. I updated. it. Now let me exit from here. Exit. So now system will be boot here. We need, need to wait. Okay, still system is booting with the uh, in the CD. Why? Because we not uncheck that one. Like we not change the sequence in a BIOS. Okay, so that's why I will show you that how to change the sequence. But anyhow, let, let me uh, 
select here troubleshooting and uh, here like uh, see you have to select this one boot from the local drive this option now you can select this one now let me wait so booting need to wait for some time so how to meanwhile let me show you how to change that one so go to the again action item edit setting and uh, here this one by vm option and click on the boot option and here uncheck and click on tick again and then click save so next time when you boot the system system will be boot with the uh, like uh, bios mode and then you change the, your sequence okay let me wait for some time here because my system is booting here need to wait see like uh, if i try i will explain shortly but i explain uh, like you know whole details why like happen that's why okay now again system is booted so let me change the sequence here go to the boot option and here you can select that this hard disk and save and exit let me select the kernel if not select automatically it will be boot within 5 five, five second but i hit enter okay now you can see i am getting a login prompt here right so if you if you got fixed so let me log in root okay now let me check the what is ip its ip is a 192.168.92.129 let me try to ssh this server this is the ip let me give the password yeah i am able to ssh also you can see up then okay so this is a way uh, you can fix this issue like uh, drag first like that is a common issue again i'm telling you that uh, due to the kernel it's happening you can install it will be uh, like issue will be fixed but sometime if your file system you delete and uh, like you recreating and you not updating that one so that will be create the problem okay like uh, after like uh, you updated the grub and those. see it, even i after changing uh, when you change the file system like uh, and the name and you not update it for example and you reboot the system your system will become uh, like you uh, like it will be uh, on, it will be uh, online it will come online but if you updating the grub up you updating the kernel again and then you if you booting then it will be not come because that grub configuration file will be update so that's why the reason then it will not then you have to do this way okay okay i hope uh, you like this video so thanks for you watching have a nice day